All right, Rick, every week at this time, we usually go over our Game of the Week and our picks. And I do want to remind everybody that's watching there that we will have our Game of the Week interactive feature on our high school football homepage this week. It's Stony Point hosting Westwood. But with district play start, starting, I think, this week, let's look at some of the district races and how we feel they're going to shape up. First, we're going to start off with um, District 25-4A, the district of defending 4A champion Lake Travis. I think at the beginning of the season, we thought they were going to be able to kind of coast to this district, but six of the seven teams are at least three and one. What are you What are you seeing out there? What do you like? Well, Lake Travis is going to win the district. I don't think either of us are going to disagree with that one. Yeah. I think Marble Falls has a good team this year. I think Hendrickson has a good team this year. I think those are two improved teams. I know that you've got a, another one that you think is a lot of improved. Yeah, I'm going to go with Lake Travis. They're the champions until somebody knocks them off. But watch out for Hutto. Devin Carver, we gave him a game ball in the last segment. Nearly 700 yards rushing so far this season, eight touchdowns. He's in the run for player of the year so far. And Jacob Dominguez, their other running back, has seven touchdown runs too. So Hutto's there. They're not going to make it easy for Lake Travis. Lake Travis is going to have to work to get that district title, but I think they'll be able to get it. Next, next district, we'll go to Williamson County, 16-5A. Uh, Pflugerville's not there anymore, so I'm going to flip a coin, and I'm going to say Cedar Park. Actually, I do need a coin this time because Cedar Park, Stony Point, Westwood, Leander, they're all good football teams. I know you probably like a certain team that you liked at the beginning of the year. I'm going to go with Cedar Park. I think they've got more depth, and I like Dietrich McKnight, great running back. Dietrich McKnight's a great running back. Westwood has, is in good hands with Princeton Collins. That whole district has lots of talent, but I went Stony Point. I had him at the beginning of the year. I still like him. Defense was kind of their Achilles heel last year, but they seem to have got that figured out, only allowing 14 points a game during their first three games. They still have Nick McKissick and Glasgow Martin on offense, so I'm sticking with Stony Point. They're the defending champs. I think they'll get it again. Now, we just talked about Pflugerville. Let's talk about their new district, 25-5A. I know before the season I picked um, Bowie, you picked Westlake, but Westlake has gotten off to a kind of a rough start. Do you think they'll be able to turn it around and win the district? I don't think Westlake's going to win the district, although I think they will make the playoffs. Uh, my pick now is Pflugerville. Their offense is just coming around right now. They only had one returning starter from last year's team that went to the state championship. They're just now starting to play well on offense, and you know how good their defense is. Yeah, that defense has probably been giving offensive coordinators around the area nightmares. I don't know how some of those coaches even sleep at night. But I'm going to go with Bowie. They got off to a rough start, but Matt Dawes and the rest of the offense, they seem to figure things out. They have a tough test to start off the year with Westlake this weekend, but I think they'll win it and kind of just roll towards the playoffs with another district title. And finally, our last district, probably not a district a lot of people have heard about or we haven't talked about that much, but it's 25 to a Lots of talent. Both Academy and Laga Vista are undefeated. Teams at the beginning of the season that we thought were going to roll through this district, Slato and Lexington. Slato's 2-2, two and two, Lexington's 1-2, and two, so they've kind of struggled, but they're expected to turn around. It's going to be a cat fight for those um, last, for those three playoffs. Who, who do you like? I like Lago Vista, even though they had one great running back last year that carried him. They've Tom actually Brown. got three outstanding running backs this year, and they pretty much share the load. Lago Vista is undefeated, and this may be their best all-around team that they've had in several years. Yeah, we worried about how they were going to play, replace Devin Brown, but they seem to have done it without even blinking an eye. Three of the four games, they've won by at least three touchdowns. So we let we both like Lago Vista there. There's lots of other districts out there that we weren't able to get to, but it's going to be across the board just great, great football over the next couple of weeks until we get to the playoffs.